So this is a good example that I can think of. The seeds of potential within a song, the seeds of divinity within a song. Let's say this is the truth and let's say this is you or humanity. We've been tricked into cutting reality a certain way. And the way that we cut reality doesn't allow us to see the divinity that's within us. I'm just an example of saying, hey, if you cut reality a certain way by going within, then you will see that you have divinity within you. And if this is true, then it should be true for every human, right? Now, you can see the difference between this apple, took the labels off. Some people have not looked within and they actually think they're the labels on their apple, right? So depending on how I cut it, depending on how I look at reality, I may not know that there's divinity within me and the seeds of potential, right? This is an apple on one level, but this is also a tree on another level. This is also an orchard on another level. That's all within us. So if this is true, if we are spiritual beings having a human experience and this is within me, then it should be within you. And it should be within every apple that you see, every person that you see. And that's the truth. But I can't cut your apple. You have to cut it yourself. I can only show you an example of that. In this reality, the way that they cut it, with all of these different religions, all of these way that all of these things that divide us, politics and all of these things, they keep us divided and keep us separate. And that way we don't really get to see what's inside of us, right? But now we have the ability to see what's inside of us and activate that. That potential is gonna change the world and it's within all of us and it's true and it's there for you to discover. Just like the seeds of this apple contain the tree, the seeds within you contain divinity.